Hello everyone, this is Maslan and welcome back to my channel. This video we are actually going to see how to create a tattoo. So yeah, I'm going to choose this this thing here yeah, as the model, base model, and I'm going to uh, hide the things which is not needed. Um, I'm going to show you guys the shortcuts like this in the right bottom, and you can see what I'm doing there. So just follow it, guys. It'll be very easy. So I'm going to copy this thing and change the name to the turtle like that after I have changed it I'm going to hide the mask and then click the turtles and go to the edit mode and I have to choose where I have to put the turtle so this is the turtle that I'm going to use this is so cute little turtle it will be going here so I'm going to choose a two looks uh, like ring I'm so selecting two loops like rings and I'm going to use control I and delete uh, the rest of the things like that now what you have to do is you guys have to scale it like you scale it a little bit so it comes out of the um, skin of the mask but I actually did uh, what I actually did is I'm going to scrub it with, with the layering tool um i don't recommend you guys to do this just scale it is is better like that way so yeah after that we have to vertex paint it you guys might be seeing the cursor cursor here like the cursor which is not actually available for for the uh, any video which i posted before because i didn't know how to I didn't know the cursor was missing, so I just realized today when I'm editing the things, I realized the cursor was missing. So after that, I'm going to vertex paint it. Vertex painting is the which I said like is to say like the things which you don't want to see outside while um uh clothings are uh in the game like the bright parts you don't want it to be viewed while you are wearing the dress so just paint it black the skin which you want everything uh, to view outside like the hand or the head just paint it white like a uh, simple in simple terms you paint the things where your cloth covers black and the, where your cloth does not cover as white By the way, I have to tell you guys, there is a zip to create a base set and the mask, but I don't recommend you guys to use those because sometimes you don't know where, where, uh, where is the mistake is, but that um, thing in the Unity, it won't be converting into the separate file. But when you're trying to figure out what is the mistake, it won't be, sh it, you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to give you the date like this. If you guys uh, want to know all the basics, you need to actually see the top, which I think the fourth part already come, came, and the fifth part is still on the th all the on the production. So, yeah, I've been mean, evaded thing. So you guys don't have to listen to what I'm saying. You guys actually can see the thing which is in the right corner. I'm going to export this UV because it will need it will be needed for uh, us doing the designing works. So I'm going to open the creature. There are actually three, uh, I think three or four. You can actually paint in the painting also. So I actually use Krita, uh Medibank paint or GIMP. Uh, you can actually use whatever you want because everything is free. Just do whatever you want, but. The thing is, uh, in Quetta, you can actually create the normal mapping, like the you need to the things you need to give the textures. You can give it in Quetta, which is very simple, very cool, and I think you can also give it in the GIMP, but I don't recommend GIMP because it's kind of a little tough for for me. It's kind of tough, but you can actually use the GIMP. So, as I said you don't have to follow what i'm saying 
you can actually see my mouse and do your work so i'm just going to give you a little explanation of what i'm doing so yeah so i'm going to check the directions like how the hand is so i choose something and you can actually see compare the direction here and compare the direction there i'm going to uh, to the a little bit smaller and yeah i'm going to hide it and export this thing like a png you must actually see if your thing is converting to png or uh, it will actually automatically save as creator file which you won't be able to use in unity so after you finish this thing you just came back come back here you need to which is the new and this is what the baking is and you can also use this thing as yeah as a material in unity so this is baking so i'm going to select all the thing here and uh yeah so this thing i'm going to is shader shader editor i'm going to add image shader you guys can actually see these things here this uh this lamb lamb by 1.001 so you just you guys just make sure that it is it belongs to this only um so now i just did i'm going to open this thing here yeah. and yeah i'm going to bake it so yeah i'm going to um bake a cycles breaker i mean cycles render i think it got a surrender so yeah i'm going to bake it as a diffuse map so just wait for two to three seconds you can see this thing is so kind of cool and yeah just export i mean export not export uh, you need to save this they save this file as image go to image and save this file as save as so everyone i was actually thinking i should actually do a live video or i explain your problems in live so if i had to do i will i will have to do within this two weeks so yeah you can tell me in the comments if i had to do it or oh guys if you guys have a lot of issues in doing it i'm going to do a live video and um, yeah let's see so i'm going to bind it i mean or parent it with the amateur you can actually see it went in and that's how it should look like like the amateur and inside the tutorial now i'm going to see check for the rotation like i have selected it like this and just check for the rotation rotations here you can actually see it's kind of cool uh, i recommend you guys to clear all the weights here i mean in that joint Mm, related to the things so i'm going to um, bind the mask like that and i'm going to see if it's smooth it is smooth in rotation so yeah you can actually see that it does not change the shape but the mask does i'm sure i think that's a weight meaning problem of the mask we don't want to mind it so yeah i'm going to clear the uh, things and keep the transformation and you can actually see there are two modifiers and the vertex group you need to delete the modifier and the vertex group you need to delete all the vertex group in order to save your mesh so yeah you can actually see this is the mask to the original position original things and now i'm going to select this uh to two and go to the weight painting and to wait i'm going to clear all the weights clean all the weights and i don't want any weights in this thing because it will be misbeha misbehaving so i'm going to blur this thing out because i did a mistake by exporting it so there was a mistake so i will see you in the next video bye